It is the spaces between the notes that make the music. And this has been drilled into my head as one of the core fundamental sales principles that you've got to let sink into your core, to your subconscious. Because these pregnant pauses between what you have to say, allow what you have to say to truly land. And if you listen to some of my sales call recordings down at the very bottom, basically, of this course area, you'll see what it's like to allow this as I like to call it, pregnant pause to truly land with some of the things that I say. Now, if I were to, for example, say, now tell me, what's the cost if nothing changes? The way that that is received is dramatically different than if I were to allow a slight pause. Again, that pregnant pause, the silence between notes will allow it to land completely differently. Now, now, tell me, what's the cost, though, if, if nothing changes and things just continue along this same path that you've been on for the past couple years? Without providing the space for what you have to say to land, the words that you have could be perfect, but they just don't quite hit home. And this is one of the main reasons why two people with the same script and the same leads to performing the same amount of repetitions can have dramatically different sales numbers. This was Eli, outperforming the rest of his team combined. Okay. This is one of the main things with storytelling, with questions, and everything in between. It is the spaces between the notes that make the music. And so I invite you to slow down in your sales process to ultimately speed up your results. It's just like boxing. You know, a guy goes out there and he's just throwing punches, hooks, and jabs, and uppercuts, and wearing himself out, just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and stringing all of his sentences together like this and just reading through the script as quickly as he possibly can. At the end of the day, if it was just about me transmitting words to you as a computer, like a virtual or an electric, or, you know, what do you want to call it? Tell telecommunication, telepathic fax machine. It's not just about me getting my words over to you because one of the biggest myths in communication is that it's actually happening, okay? We buy things emotionally and without the open space for us to experience emotions that come up as a direct result of questions asked properly, then there's no leverage for a sale to be made. And so again, I invite you to consider slowing down when you really need a point to land. I guarantee it's going to make a huge impact in your sales process. Now, there are times where it makes sense to speed through and really hammer that point home. But then you've got to remember to take a moment to truly make your point. When you do, your prospect's ears perk up. You slow down and you are meticulous in your delivery. When you have something truly important to share or a heavy question in which you want to invite a thoughtful, deep response. And the last note on this is nature hates a vacuum. Okay, there is no space Space on this planet where nothing exists. It's always filled. It's always filled. It's always filled. Whether it's water, air, substance, matter, doesn't matter. It's always filled. And when you hold space in the communication, you invite response. So get comfortable with the space and the silence. Because oftentimes, 
The most effective thing that you can do to get someone to continue to talk and spill the hidden information that you need to uncover in order to close sales is for you to simply shut up. Just shut up and be present. Maybe a little, oh, wow. Hmm. Invites them to continue talking because just as I said, there's no space that just exists. <laughs> Here, nature hates a vacuum. It'll fill a void. People will fill a void when you leave it. When you want them to continue talking, shut up. Shut up, okay? Again, it's the silence or it's the spaces between the notes that makes the music. So when you really need a point to land, slow down. Allow there to be that slight pregnant pause. And also, when you want to compel someone to continue talking, shut up. Hold some space. Allow them to talk. Don't force them to interrupt you in order to give you more information that you need. If you are talking more than 20% on your calls, probably talking way too much. Okay, I'm gonna say that one more time in the way that I'm telling you to. If you are talking more than 20% of the time you spend on calls, chances are you're talking way too much much. Let that one sink in. And I'll see you in the next one.